Hello everyone. In this video I will be introducing my new Sony PSX800 tone arm uh, disassembly and blueprint and modification service. Anyway, um, what we have here is a breakdown of all the different parts that go into a Sony PSX800 tone arm minus the arm shaft. I just don't have that available to show in this video at this point. The arm shaft is uh, the shaft, the polished stainless steel shaft that this uh, brass bearing housing rides on. And um, you'll see that I have two tone arms here, two arm housings. One is modified and the other one is stock. Um, before I go into showing you the differences there, uh, I want to show you all the different parts here. So here we have uh, one of the vertical motional feedback uh, magnet assemblies and that's the other. That's just uh, a little cover that goes on the bottom to keep uh, to protect the wires uh, coming out of the bottom of the tone arm. That's one of the horizontal bearing cones and these are my carbon fiber parts that I add to the arm housing to modify it for improved structural integrity. Um, next uh, we have uh, again the, the brass uh, arm shaft uh, bearing housing uh, tube. We have the vertical bearings, uh, we have the pitch um, locator bearing, that's what I call it anyway, Sony never gave it a name. Uh, that goes in this hole here and uh, it works in conjunction with the groove in the back of the stainless steel arm shaft to uh, locate the arm in the pitch direction. Uh, this is a lead weight that attaches here to the bottom of this housing here, the main housing. Um, over here we have the horizontal motional feedback um, de detection uh, coil here and the drive coil here and the Hall effect sensor there. Uh, over here we have the vertical motional feedback uh, drive coil and over here we have the vertical motional feedback detection coil and Hall effect sensor. The rest of this is just the uh, magnetic fuel flux return plates and including a lead plate uh, that attaches to this arm assembly. Okay, uh, the differences between uh, these two arm housings, one modified and one not, uh, is going to be demonstrated with a mechanical impulse test uh, via a, uh, approximately a 3 8 inch uh, wood dowel. Anyway, here's the stock arm housing. Okay, not too good. Sony could have done better, I think. And here's my modified housing. Again, the stock housing. All right. I would uh, hope that you would agree that uh, there's a night and day difference there. I don't want to elaborate. I think the evidence speaks for itself. Okay. Um, next, I want to show you the carbon fiber parts. And before I do that, this is just my prototype um, development platform uh, that I was using to develop this modification process. And this is a gloss fiber twill weave carbon fiber that I was using. It's not what I plan on continuing with. I'll be using a matte finish and 
matte finish. My comparison will look like this. Hopefully you can see that fairly well. Okay. And all of these carbon fiber parts are precision cut with a CNC machine. And um, so they fit perfectly. And uh, they're attached permanently. Um, I don't want to get into a discussion as to exactly what I do uh, with this uh, arm housing. It's uh, proprietary, but um, suffice to say um, there's a massive difference between modified and unmodified, as you can plainly see. Um, I don't know what else to show you except... Um, the fact that uh, the stock housing will be taken down all the way uh, during this service. Uh, and this magnetic uh, flux return plate for the horizontal section will be removed. So will the, uh, the horizontal emotional feedback magnet assembly all removed, arm pipe removed, everything stripped down completely and modified accordingly. Uh, this arm really uh, benefits from this process, in my opinion. So uh, I think it'll turn it into a, a very serious tone arm uh, in terms of performance. Okay, guys. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you about this. Uh, I think that pretty much makes it pretty much clear. All right. Well, thank you. Until the next video, have a good day.